Judd. What? I'm... I'm scared. Nothing to be afraid of. We won't get struck. Lightning's way over the lake now. That's not what I mean. It's about... Oh, Judd, it is. It is a wishing stone. <laughs> Theater 5 presents The Wishing Stone. Skipping stones. What for? Can't swim in this old lake. Snapping turtles get you. You can't swim anyways. I could cool off if it wasn't for the turtles. Watch this. <sighs> Wish I could hit one pow in his ugly old beak. Ten skips. Wish I could skip like that. Uh, it's no good wishing. Why not? Because nothing good comes unless you work for it. That's not so. Wishes can come true. I wish... I wish for 11 skips. See? Show me how, Judd. Huh? Show me how. Ah, uh, you're too little. I am not. I'm 10. You're only 11. Going on 12. And I'm a boy. So... Show me how. Pick a stone. Flat. Like this here. Then you crook your pointing finger like this and put your thumb here. Then you bend over crabby-wise and skid it right across the top of the water. Ah. That was only seven. Bet I could do better. <laughs> go ahead. Try. Well, go on. Scared to? No. It's just... I can't throw this one away. It's too pretty. All like gold. Ah, uh, that's only the sun on it. It's just like any other old stone. No, it isn't. It's all shiny and glittery. It's like, like it was a magic stone, and you could wish on it. Makes me feel all kind of shivery. You must be feeling the heat. What are you doing now? Rubbing the lucky stone on my skirt. Makes it shine. Come on, sis. You better get out of the sun. You're all perspiring. That's only because it's so hot. Wish it wasn't so hot. What's that? Look at that thunderhead. It just came up from nowhere. Run, Jen. It's coming down in buckets. Where? That big old shade tree. Come on. Boy, I'm wet all over. Me too. Feels good. First time I've been cool this week. Judd. What? I'm... I'm scared. Nothing to be afraid of. We won't get struck. Lightning's way over the lake now. That's not what I mean. It's about... Oh, Judd, it is. It is a wishing stone. What you mean? I rubbed it. And I wished I wanted it to be cool. And it made the rain come. And we are. I'll grow up. But it is. Look at it shine. Even in the dark. That's because it's wet. No, it's magic. We could ask for the whole world now if we... Come on, sis. I don't feel like playing games. You always used to. How come you're so mopey? I got reasons. What reasons? Well, you wouldn't understand. You're only a kid. Why can't I understand? It's grown-up things, that's why. What grown-up things? All right, if you want to be nosy. It's Ma and Pop. How come Pop was hollering at Ma tonight? He always does when he gets fired off a job. Like today. 
Is that why he went to bed without supper? He went to bed because he was all liquored up. Like usual. He didn't have to hit Ma. He don't have to do nothing he does. Spoiling everything for everyone. He's no good. You shouldn't say that about Pop. It's the truth. If it wasn't for Ma, we wouldn't even get to eat. You like to see her going out working for other people, cleaning up on floors and stuff? Her hands used to be soft. Pa fixed that. And everything else. On birthday, I'm going to have tomorrow. Mom's going to bake a cake. Sure. Ah, oh, forget it. Let's get home before we make it any worse for her. We can't go out in that. And what's the difference? We're wet already. I'm scared of the lightning. So you wished it on us. Wish it away. I will. I was just kidding. I'm going to show you things will be right. I wish... I wish... I wish this storm away. Look, sis. You could rub a hole in your dress, but... Hey. How about that? I told you it was a wishing stone. Oh, Thunderhead's gone. <laughs> Just a little bit of sun still left over Pike's Hill. Maybe you did pick up a wishing stone. Hey, Jenny, let's go tell Ma. Who is it? Oh, hello, Jim. Hi, Helen. Come in, come in. Well, what are you doing out in this cloudburst without a raincoat? Yeah, it came out of nowhere. I might know any time I see that brother of mine, I'm staring for trouble. Caught me halfway, and there's no sense of turning back. Oh, you're soaked. Here, I'll get you some coffee. No, 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 don't bother. I'll have two minutes of business with Al, and then I'll go home and change. Well, you can't see him. He's not home. Oh, he's home. Asleep. Passed out? Yeah. Fine. Anything I can do? Helen, I... Where are the children? We... We had a little trouble here tonight. Hmm? Judd took off for the lake. I sent Jenny down to bring him home. What do you mean, trouble? Oh, there's no sense in hiding it from family. Al got fired again. Took it out on us. I see. What did you want to see him about? Well, you said it, Helen. There's no sense in hiding anything from the family. This is an emergency. It's Al's insurance. His life insurance? Yes, he's way behind on payments. Oh. I helped him all I could at the bank. I, I even carried him myself for the last five months. But I can't anymore. I, I just haven't got the money. Well, how much does he owe? $45.86. When is it due? Tomorrow. Mm. He swore up and down he'd have it for me tonight. Well, if he had it, he drank it up. He came home with $2.05 in his pocket. Yes, I've even stooped that low. After I got him to bed, I emptied his pockets. Huh? Helen, I'd pay it if I could, but I can't. If it isn't paid, Helen, he'll lose the policy. And the way he is, he, he'll never get another one. Oh, Jim, I, I can't do it. I've tried to hold this home together for the children and for Al. Yes, yes. But he's got me defeated. I can work for them, but I can't protect him. Oh. And I don't want to anymore. I don't blame you, Helen. He's my brother. But I tell you the God's own truth. He's wrecking us all. We'd all be better off if he was gone. Uh oh well, this is the only way he'd be any good to any of us. At least he'd be worth $10,000. Oh, Helen, that's a rotten thing to say, but it's the only thing he's worth. If that premium is paid. Can you manage it? Well, $45 I saved for Judd's birthday to buy him a bike. You tell me, Jim, which is more important? There's Jenny to think of, too. Yeah. You can't support two kids and yourself. Al works sometimes, but if anything happened to him... 
All right, Jim. No bike for Judd. Okay, I'll get you the money. Ma, guess what? Oh, hi, Uncle Jim. Hi, Jenny. Judd. Hi, Nunk. We found a lucky stone, and we can wish anything we want. Oh, that's nice, dear, but it's bedtime now. You better start getting ready. But, but don't you want to hear? Tomorrow, dear. Uncle Jim and I have business now, Jim. Come with me. Oh, sure. I'll see you around, kids. They wouldn't even listen. Grown-ups don't believe easy. But you could have explained. Jenny, sis, maybe I don't quite believe all the way either. All right, I'll show you. What do you want most for your whole birthday? It doesn't matter so much. But just if you had your druthers. Oh, I don't know. I guess maybe no school. I want to be here. So look, I'm rubbing the stone. I wish, I wish, I wish no school tomorrow. Forget it, sis. That's no wishing stone. Look at it in the real light. I do. It's all sparkly gold. No, it isn't. Just pyrite. What's pyrite? Just a piece of plain old rock. They call it fool's gold. <laughs> Catching cold? No, Ma. And just the same, after that soaking last night, you go get your slicker out and take it to school in case it rains again today. I don't need it, Ma. I'll check the weather on the radio. Do what Ma says, Jenny. I don't have to. Won't be any school. Why not? Last night I wished there wouldn't be. Oh, Jenny, wake up. There's no such thing as a wishing stone. But the combined fire departments of four counties failed to stem the roaring fire triggered by the freak storm last night, and the schoolhouse remains a mass of smoking ruin. Bad news for the taxpayers, but I can guess, bright news for the younger generation. No school today, so to all residents of... I wished it. That's your first birthday present. Burned down. Well, what do you think of that? No school today. I knew there wouldn't be. What do you mean, you knew? I wished it. You what? She didn't wish the school burned down. She just wished that... Well, it was my birthday, so she rubbed the stone and said, no school today. The magic stone, like I told you last night. Jenny, I have no time for games. I've got to catch my bus to work. If there's no school, what am I going to do with you kids? We'll be all right, Ma. I don't like to leave you here, Judd, with your father. Like... I'll take Jenny down to the lake. We can go fishing. All right. I'll give you some money so you can get a picnic lunch at the hot dog stand. We don't need any money. All I have to do is... Quiet, sis. We only need a dollar. You're a good boy, Judd. What did I do without you? And what kind of a birthday are we making for you? Well, I don't mind, Ma. As long as you're happy. You're you're a good boy, Judd. Now listen, Jenny. You stick by Judd till I get home. Will we have cake and presents and everything? Baby, please. You've got to understand that... Well, things are a little mixed up and... Sis, and... can't you get it through your nut? There's not going to be a birthday. Why not? All I got to do is rub this stone. Will you just stop dreaming and grow up like me? We can't wish away what we are. You can thank Pop for that. You can thank me for what? Oh, I thought you were still asleep, Al. Who can sleep around here? Everybody yakking. Thank me for what? If you kids are going to the lake, you'd better run along now. Wait a minute. What about school? We don't have to go, Pop. It burned down. I wished it. You what? It's just a game. Now run along, kids. Are you going to be all right, Ma? What's that crack me? You leave him alone, Al. Haven't you done enough to ruin this day for him? Go on, kids. But I haven't told Pop about... I'll tell him, dear. But I want to be... Come on, sis. Let's you and me go fishing. Okay, but you'll have to bait the hook. I don't like those creepy old worms that you have. What did she want to tell me? Oh, it's just some nonsense about a magic stone she found yesterday. What kind of stone? A piece of mica or something. She thinks if she rubs it like Aladdin's lamp, anything she wishes comes true. Hmm. I could use something like that. And nothing good comes by wishing. you got to work for it. Oh, climb out of the pulpit. I don't feel like a lecture this morning. I can imagine. Want some coffee? 
No, I want a drink. Well, that's one thing I can't provide. I'll get it. Where's the two dollars I had left? I took it. I know. Hand it over. I would if you'd use it for what you should. Why's that? You know where Judd's bike money had to go. He ought to have some kind of present. Or have you forgotten it's his You birthday? let me handle that. Now, give me the dough. I've got to get to work. Al, I... I don't like the kids being alone all day out of school. Will you stay with them? Sure, sure. Your, your bus is coming. Oh. Well, all right, then. Here's the money. And get him something for his birthday. Try and give the kids a nice day. Sure, sure. If you don't, Hal, if you let us all down again, we're through. There's nothing left for us. Look who's coming, Jed. Hi, Pop. Hey, Jenny. You catch anything, Jed? No, Turtle's chased all the fish. I could wish him a fish if he'd let me. With your lucky stone? Yep. Let me see it. Here. Isn't it pretty? <laughs> Well, that's nothing but a piece of fool. Let her believe in it if she wants. What are you getting so riled up about? Just one person's got to believe in something in this family without you spoiling now it. Listen, you lit. If you're taking on over your birthday, you'll get nothing just the way I did when I was your age. I don't need nothing from you. Because I can get him anything he wants. Yeah, it's time both of you grew out of your diapers. You want to know what this wishing stone is worth? I'll show you. Pop, you've been drinking. You don't know well, where you... you hush up or I'll lay one on you. Now, you watch this, Jenny. You're going to wish for anything in this life. You wish big. If this is a true wishing stone, I'm asking old Nick himself to climb on up over this rock, out of the lake, with a sack of gold in his hand. I won't be greedy. All I want to be worth is, say, like uh, $10,000. Keep looking, kids, till your eyes pop. You ain't gonna see nothing. It doesn't always happen right away, like with this. It school. don't ever happen. Time you woke up to what life is, Jenny. You know what this is good for? Just throwing in the lake. No, Pop, give me the stone. Watch out, Jenny. Now let, let go. Let go of that stone. The wishing stone will never be able to wish again. Never mind that. Pop's going to be really mad after a ducking. So what are we going to do? Run, sis. Run for our lives. Kids in bed, Helen. Yes, Jim. I thought you'd gone. Yeah, I thought I had to wait. They know about Al. Oh, time enough to tell them tomorrow. How could he? How could he drown in just a, a few feet of water? He was drunk. He could have hit his head when he fell. And there were the turtles. Oh, don't. I wanted him out of our lives so often, but not this way. Not like this. Now where do we go? You're better off, Helen. He was dragging all of us down with him. And there is the insurance. Ten thousand dollars. My brother wasn't worth a nickel. It's the best any of us could have wished for. The children must never know about it. Especially Jenny. Because of the, uh, the wishing stone? Yes. Oh, I, I know it's coincidence, but I wouldn't want her to feel any blame. Well, how could she? Al took the stone with him. What happened? He wished it on himself. Theater 5 has presented The Wishing Stone, written by Ian Martin, directed by Warren Somerville. In the cast, 
Alan Howard, Susan Melvin, Mary Jane Higby, Leon Janney, and George Petrie. Script editor, Jack C. Wilson. Original music by Alexander Vlastotsenko. Orchestra under the direction of Glenn Osser. Executive producer for Theater 5, Mr. Lee Bowman. We invite your comments. Write to Theater 5, New York 23, New York. That's Theater 5, New York 23, New York. This is Fred Foy speaking. This has been an ABC Radio Network production.